Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sensei here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. Today, I'm going to talk about my personal favorite and second in the list, Hokage Naruto, as part of my new series, revisiting old SS and S plus tier mains. I mean, who doesn't like Naruto? Hokage Naruto, with his rekit, was one of the best. Maybe he is not as good he used to be, but he is still my favorite. He was introduced alongside Shishui, and he was on par with Shishui in attack mission, and also a good defender as well. He held his fort for a long time, but again, more OP characters put him down below. But nevertheless, we are going to talk about his prime days in the game and why he is not as good as he used to be. If that sounds interesting, let's jump to episode number two of the series. Starting off with his good points, keep in mind we are going to take his G kit, not the old three stars and old ultimate. The ideal kit of Hokage Naruto is all four stars and new ultimate. Now his combo with all the 4 stars is insane, it's an like infinite knockdown combo. His trap clearing jutsu is really good, not the best, but it's good. It is also useful in tackling enemies from a distance and keeping them far away. He sends out 4 clones every single one enables traps and also does damage to the enemies. His other 4 star Rasen Shuriken is a long range jutsu which does multiple hits and inflicts slowed movement, which is good way to start his combo. His old 4 star is an iframe which can avoid some ultimates and it also gives attack debuff to the enemies. Now his new ultimate, 5k barrage, is definitely better than the old ultimate, has a decent range and multiple hits, and the animation looks really cool. And if the defender is tanky enough to survive the ultimate, he is inflicted with confusion, large effect and decreases defense, medium. The CP cost of his ultimate is 350 and cooldown is 60 second, and both of them don't get reduced at a higher level. They stay the same from level 1 to level 8. He is a yellow character so he faces a lot of CP issues, especially in current meta against tanky defenders. His Jutsus take up a lot of CP. The Rasen Shuriken takes 150 CP and other two 4 stars take 80 CP which is way too high. Since the trap clear Jutsu plays an important role in this kit, the CP cost is way too high for it. And you need to use it many times since it's a single directional trap clear which might leave traps uncleared. If you plan to use him in attack mission, I would strongly recommend taking Rin with you so that you can get as much CP as possible. Honestly saying, he was an attack mission top tier main. I used him for almost a an year and he also did a great job in defense as well. To enter a final room, just either push your support in or just use Rasen Shuriken from the gate and enter so that enemies will be inflicted with slowed movement and you can just use the ultimate given there are no complications. The problem with him is, and still was, that the ultimate range is not that good. When using an attack mission, only if you have been using him for some time and you know how he works, then only you would be able to pull it off. Especially in final room, the enemies might move away from you resulting in your ultimate getting miss. As the game kept introducing other OP defenders and attack mission mains, his ranking gradually decreased. As of now, attack mission main ranking he is low S tier and defense main he is low A tier. So why did this happen? The current meta defenders and attackers give him a hard time. Since he is a yellow character, he lacks damage output. When using him as a main, the current defenders are tanky enough to hold down their fort. A lot of times what happens with him is he leaves the enemies HP less than 40% and they use the ultimate. He doesn't have a seal or paralysis so he has to use his jutsu continuously to inflict continuous damage. When up against a high damaging defender, he is tanky enough to hold his HP but without the help of support, he is not gonna survive. As a defender, he lacks fight control because of lack of sealing or paralysis or any other ailments. He can handle one support but when facing multiple enemies, he is not gonna survive. I hate to say it but he is not as good as he used to be. Current fortress are filled with tornado traps. Now you might say that he has a trap clearing jutsu. But again, it has to be used multiple times since it's a single directional trap clear and it also consumes a lot of CP. Now if you want to use him in meta fortress then make sure to take top tier supports because they will be the main source of damage and help you out when you inflict with dot damage or something like that. Soloing with him in the current meta fortress especially in Gokunin and other higher leagues with all the chakra hitting installations and meta defenders is not a good idea. I don't think we can pull it off in the current meta to be honest. 
As this game keeps on introducing more meta characters, his ranking is just gonna go down much faster. If he gets some new rekit, which was in the leaks, I want him to get a rekit that makes him a good defender and a support shinobi, not an attack mission main. Now coming on to the conclusion, the harsh reality is he is not as good as he used to be anymore. You can have fun playing with him but make sure to take top tier supports. Hopefully he gets a good rekit which can make him top tier again. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings if you are a Hokage Naruto fan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop down a like and comment what you think about this video. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell icon. Follow my social medias, links in description. I will see you next time. Sayonara.